Hello, my name is Philipp Rode and today I will present my work in progress on optimizing federated queries based on the physical design of a data lake. Let's have an example query on information about diseases and associated genes in humans. In Sparkle, this query could be represented like that. Each line is called a triple pattern. And a triple pattern can have variables starting with a question mark or constants like the literal Homo sapiens. This particular query will be answered by four different data sets, namely Affymetrix, TCGA, Disease Gene, and Disease Disease. In a data lake, the data sets can have different data models. RDF, for example, or a MySQL relational database. And if we add semantics to the relational database, the data lake will be called semantic data lake. This query can be decomposed into four star-shaped subqueries. A star-shaped subquery is formed around the subject of the triple patterns, representing a class of instances that share the same properties. For example, type, ax gene ID, species scientific name, and chromosomal location in case of the probe star-shaped subquery. The challenges here are that Sparkle and SQL have different semantics, and RDF and relational databases have different characteristics, but those different characteristics open the possibilities for different query optimization techniques based on the data model at hand. So far, query optimization in federations of relational databases has been studied extensively, as well as query optimization in federations of RDF sources. But what about query optimization in a federation of both of them? Well, we can have plans that evaluate a star-shaped subquery at each leaf, and we will call that a physical design unaware plan. And if we push down joints, for example, we call this a physical design aware plan because it is aware of the fact that disease M gene and disease M disease are in the same data source and that we can perform joins efficiently in the relational databases. So today I will present the research problem and goal followed by heuristics to overcome the issues and some preliminary experiment that leads to limitations and open questions. And I will finalize with conclusions and future work. The problem is to find efficient and effective query execution plans considering data and infrastructure, while maximizing the answer completeness and minimizing execution time. The characteristics of the heterogeneous data models impact on that heavily. So, we need to define heuristics to improve the query performance in a semantic data lake for relational database sources, because this is already done for RDF. So, considering joints, let's have a query plan from the example query. So, this is just the unaware plan, and it takes a long time, but disease some gene and disease and disease are in the same relational database S and actually the join attribute is indexed so we can reduce the career plan and have disease as one single leaf. This is way faster so we will push down joins between two subqueries if both subqueries can be evaluated in the same data source and the join attribute is indexed. But what about filters? Well, having filters at source level was quite slow. So we evaluated the filter at query engine and we found out that this is way faster. But what in the case of a network with high latency? Well, query performance dropped significantly due to the fact that we had to transfer more data to the query engine. Therefore, we will go back 
to the previous approach, filtering at source level. So we will perform filters at the query engine unless the filtered attribute is indexed and the network speed is slow. In our experiment, we wanted to evaluate the validity of the proposed heuristics, and therefore we asked ourselves if the heuristics improve the query performance. In order to do that, we used the Life Science Linked Open Data Benchmark, commonly known in the community of Semantic Web. Unfortunately, the queries of the benchmark do not contain joins that can be pushed down. Joins in the benchmark queries are only across datasets, not within, so we needed to write our own queries, five for now. Joins can be pushed down in the queries two, four, and five, while filters can be pushed up in the queries one, three, and five. We also simulate four different networks, one without delay, one with small delays called gamma one, one with medium delays called gamma two, and one with large delays called gamma three. In order to show the performance of our heuristics, we measure answer completeness, that is, the percentage of answers retrieved, as well as total execution time, that is, the time until all results are retrieved after posting the query. In the experiment, we can conduct that impact of slow networks is higher for physical design unaware query plans, and pushing down joins decreases query performance. We will talk about that in limitations further. For the case of filters, we saw that pushing up the instantiations improved the query performance, except for the query 3, which you can see on the right-hand side. In this case, the aware plan performed better. Aware here meaning performing the filter at source level. So, limitations. Pushing down joins is highly dependent on the implementation details. So, if we have like a simple query with two star-shaped queries, we can perform a bad rewriting with from subqueries, which the current implementation does. But using a good rewriting, if we force the engine to do this hard-coded, then we can see an increase in performance, halving query execution time. And for the filtering, in theory, performing the filters at source level should perform better. But observation during several experiments leads to a different conclusion. But as you saw, query 3 contradicts with m the most observations, and therefore this is still open because we don't know why in some cases it behaves like that and in others it behaves differently. So what can we take home? The heuristics take the physical design of the data lake into account, that is, available indexes and the network condition and the query performance can be improved by considering the optimization capabilities of the different data models. That is not only RDB. This can also be different data models that are possible to be integrated into the semantic data lake, for example, flat files or graph databases. So what do we have to do? Well, we have to review our current heuristics. They do not perform like we want them to do. And we will study the impact on different RDB implementations to deeper understand the filtering behavior, for example in MySQL, PostgreSQL and SQL Server. Also we want to investigate different kinds of query decompositions. We can decompose this query in a star-shaped manner, as we saw before, so having a join from triples 1 and 2 with triples 3 and 4. But we can also decompose the query triple-based, having four different, so joining 1 and 2 with 3 with 4. And what one usually does with the triple-based approach is grouping them 
to groups of triple patterns that can be exclusively answered in a single endpoint. Thanks for your attention.